Hey everybody, Asher here. Welcome back to War Tales, where we are in the Vertruse Providence. And as expected, we gotta actually pause the game here because I just let this sit in Iron Man and let time bleed. Whoops! First thing that happened is that this whole mission, the timed mission that I got for this one, expired. So I'm not exactly sure if that was because of another mini update or if it's just an early access thing. I said it would happen and it happened. So stinks a little bit. We still have this supposedly hard thing. We have some other missions that we're trying to do as well. We are on the search for some money. And I think at this point I am almost inclined to just try to march all the way down here to uh, turn in some, I think it was silver all the way down here. We also have um, the broker's tail as well, which once again, it'd be nice to follow the instructions and see, but we'll figure that out. First things first though, we did find a camp. We didn't have enough influence to really do a lot with it. We have this group, which is apparently over here, and we are also trying to learn to read a map, which if you've ever watched me play anything involving a map before, you'll know that, first off, I need to actually close the map here. I suck at little compare pictures here. If you've heard me talk about it before, on this channel I had in college, I took a uh, evaluation to see what was going on with language learning and oh there's some boars that are running around over there that apparently i probably let run off oh well let's go this way anyway and uh the end result of that was that i one of the tests i had to take was like pictures and looking at pictures Ooh, what are you bandit's lair boars so they're all back what is this bandit's lair doing here is it anything in particular location defended Go there to find out more. I don't know if I want to fight him yet. Or at least see if I can get a quest to actually knock him out here. But something tells me that uh, this is a fun thing. Let's go ahead and uh, get the meats. Because we do have good food. Good folks. Good fun. Let's see if we can ambush some boars. Ambush. Level 5 boar. I am almost terrified to see what level 5 boar means. If this whole run, we're finally in multiple counties... Oh my god, I meant to camp. Okay. Well, we are now in trouble. Because, um... Doesn't look like we have the terrible exhaustion debuff that maybe we could have had. I don't know if it's coming, but it should show up here. I was supposed to camp before we started this fight. Those are some chonky-ass boars. That dominant so is looking especially dominant. So we're gonna have to use the terrain to our advantage. Oh, fortunately, a lot of the boars are backed up over here, so we should be able to funnel them in. Okay, we got a small engagement over here, so let's get let's get this party started. This rock could actually end up being incredibly useful as, for us as well. So if we put Akra over here, Marcus over here, we may want a few more people than just there and all and near them, but there is only three boars, and they're just boars. But yeah, there is a debuff for being incredibly exhausted, and I I will be honest here, as I talked about in the Star Sector video, um, work has been tough. And because work has been tough, I haven't been able to record quite like how I want to. I'm trying to squeeze in some episodes here um, between things, because honestly, it's fun for me to do this. This is a way to blow off steam, and I, I enjoy the interaction with you all. But as a result, apparently... I, I whoopsied a, a little bit, but that's the fun of Iron Man. We have to live with the whoopsies. So you guys, let's just check real quick. You guys can't run too far, and there's a bunch of mud. So the dominant sow, so sow, an allied animal dies, it gains fury. Um, we don't really want that. So we could park Matt on it, and you can take a lot of those hits, but we only have to deal with one of them right now. Now Tony's back here, Ferris is back here, Lothar is back here, and that's probably fine. Akra can pin some of this stuff down. Um, Drakeon would be good because he can spin to win, which means we want to put Theron all in a position where he can do that. In fact, Nirim and Alex, we have like our whole AoE squad over here. I almost wonder if maybe we should have Nirim do something a little different, but it's fine. If we put you right here, she she's going to be in better position to act over here. And we can always move these people back. It's fine. So this is one going to be one of the first exit pursued by boars going. And we unfortunately can't like get over here. If I go right here, 
I, I just want to make sure I get in a spot where we will actually be able to get Drakeon's AoE. So I'm going to give this a try. I'm going to try to go over here. One of, the, one of the issues, again, is that his movement, he does have enough movement for now. So if we go over here and we engage and we get another Valor point, bravado! Slashity slash. All right, we're good for now. We're good until we are ungood. And considering how badly I screwed this up, we may be getting ungood in a hurry. All right, so... So, so, suck your toe. I can't, I can't say that, can I? So these guys will maybe all go after. Alex may be having a friend here in just a second. We'll see. Because unfortunately, these guys, okay, we do have one more action. So it's going to depend. This boar only has one target it can reach. So that'll be fine. We can put Drake over there. And then if we can target that right, the boar will be in position where Alex can hit them both. So we'll let the dominoes fall. Let's see what we can do over here first. Let's go ahead and put Matt. Oh my god, it's mud, so Matt can't reach. Okay, we're gonna, um... I think we're just gonna do defensive stance and not move him yet. Or we could put Lothar in here. We do have, we do have some options for bowing and airing. Like, we could try to take out this boar. Um, you're stuck in the mud, you're not stuck in the mud, you're stuck in the mud so you guys can't go far you can't go far so if we go like right here recoil shots actually going to shoot you too far so 18 damage not as much as i was hoping for if we do just a little bit of aggression here tony for 45 that's that's good and now this boar is slowed so that's that's what we like to see. All right, Boar Town. Boar on down level exit pursued by level five boar. So we're gonna see what's happening over here. We're really gonna try to lean into the four versus three. Um, we could put. The thing is, is that if we put Rock Forehead right here, park him next to Matt Parker, like this. We could potentially do a free spear wall. I like that. So let's see, your Theranol is going to get hit. I actually forgot how much armor we have, so this is the position we wanted, and we're not going to get a surround. All right, so this guy's going to go. And um, we get points for uh, hitting several enemies at the same time. So we want to do at least two. Alright, so spend to win. And we've got Bravest of Braves, apparently. Nice. And we can still we can still swat somebody too, so that's good. Um Well, let's um Let's see if we can smack you around. Alright. Question is, are we gonna get down here? So that's that's fun. And now the question is Alex. She can't get in a position to hit everybody, but Drake's going to have a really good shot next time. It begs the question, should Alex just go up here? She's not going to be able to hit right now. Maybe it's better if we just put Alex in a position where she can at least hit somebody. Because that's probably better. Rampage. It's, a, it's free Rampage real estate. You would think that all the axing the boars would actually like do a lot of damage. But boars, it turns out, are really tough. Okay, dominant sow. Dominant not getting stabbed. Alright. So who's moving? You're moving. You're moving next. And you've got you've got some shit you can do. Alright, so Marcus can go over here. We have Rock Forehead. I guess it's aqua time. So let's see what we got. If we put you right here and we spear wall like this, will that negate the attack? Last time we did this, the animals were really smart and ran around our spear walls. So this this could be any number of things. Today, today we feast on um, boar. All right. 
So you get a bonus point for um, engaging. But unfortunately, with Rock Forehead's position, you can't move. Ferris does have... Um, okay, it's Lothar with the barrage. So that could have been good to have before. But if we put Lothar, like... Like we wanna we wanna get Lothar in a good position because barrage is something that we could take advantage of quite a bit. So if we put you like right here, what is our barrage situation? That's good. Can we just move you over just a little bit? Because I have a feeling Ferris is gonna want to get in on the action too. So let's go like this. Let's pew pew. Um, this boar. And then let's barrage over here. Now, one thing we gotta remember is that barrage actually does not stop the movement. So we'll have to, um, deal accordingly. Alright, so... Nothing imminent. So, stop Lothar's turn. Cool. But well, we gotta watch our valor points. So, Matt Parker, I think you going defensive is fine. Wouldn't be opposed to having Ferris do things either. So, let's put Ferris, like, right here. Does that trigger the barrage? It did not. Yes, it did. Cool. Cool. So that worked out. And then we have Marcus over here. Still not able to really get in a good position here. Tony's already moved. We got a bunch of people coming. This area is covered. Like his best move might be to just get around here. Because we've got we've got some crowded real estate. Although it does leave Lothar in kind of a tough spot. Alright, so boar. Everybody's moving. Everybody's coming to the boar rapture today. Uh, Matt Parker, I think this is time to deflect. So you're going to move one more time. Be good to know if that actually hits him one more time. Britney Spears wrote a song about that. It's literally about fighting boars. Alright. Technically, she did not write the song. Some producer wrote the song. But still, pew pew, and we have the fury of the dominant sow. Nearum! Oh, how'd I forget about you, bruh? If we go like this, we should be able to get a double hit without engaging, right? So Devious Whirlwind actually doesn't hit. Devious Whirlwind, and now it hits. Do we want to be targeted by two boars at the same time? You bet. Got him. So Marcus is going to be uh, making some chopped pork here in a little bit. Alright, a new round is starting. We have this so, this old so, she play one, she play knickknack on my thumb. Okay, so Nirm's in danger from that guy. And we have two actions that we can take before you pop off. And Akra cannot get around to protect him. I think Nirm can take a hit. And then we just do spin to win one more time. Because these guys aren't going for a little bit. Big question is, are you going? Other question, I guess, technically... See, I don't think we can get any of our archers in position. Lothar would have to break to use deafness, but he doesn't even have doesn't even have that. So near him, you're, you can like dodge shit, right? Okay. So let's go for the good shot. So much damage. All right, and we're gonna um, 
I'm gonna slice you as well. Now, if we go for the kill here, oh, we can't because we're engaged. All right, cool. So I don't know if you guys can get even furrier. Oh, you you trapped yourself. Oh man, what a day. Nearum is about to hit the crit train. I guess technically Nearum can just bail. That might be the best move. Is just spin and run. Because right now, you're only just barely reaching, so... Devious Whirlwind again. Alright. So that's three and three. We can run freely because we're not engaged, so... Let's go ahead and get a free Wrath. Alright. And now we just fall back. And we poison ourselves, because I, I, I talk about that all the time. Okay, Theranol gets hit. That's not shot number three, is it? Oh, it is. Okay, so Lothar can continue doing your thing. She can just dodge this by going to the right, so... Maybe if we do another, like, pew pew. Like, he gets a point for killing this. And then we can just adjust the cone, right? I mean, we could have let the poison do its work, but... Okay, we'll see. We'll see if ultimately that was a misplay or not. So we have more boar here. Boar, boar, boar. We move you up here. You can't actually. You can spear if we go up one more. Um, although I'm not entirely sure why we're blocked but apparently we are oh it's probably because these guys are engaging so close so that should be okay we're gonna find out real fast if that's okay so Alex takes a hit it's fine everything is fine Who's next? This so? I guess we're gonna F around and find out, aren't we? Okay. We need to kill this guy. So let's do let's do a wrath here. And then I'm not really big on waiting around for like another double spin. So we're just gonna do a regular attack here. To knock him out. And then we're just gonna, um, we're just gonna stay right here for now, and you two can double team. I probably could have actually furied that boar, couldn't have I? Oh well. We kind of want some of these valor. We want to farm back some of these valor points. All right. So Ferris. I'm really hoping the boar doesn't get like super gamey here. gonna wait there we go so pew pew stab stab put a stop to it all right so everybody's coming up here now so we could continue to just let this let this ride out like the the spear do not do not suffer the spear bro and we can't, we don't just want to run through the mud here, so. Tony, what you got? Tony doesn't have a lot. Akra, what you got? Akra could probably just kill this. Let's see if we can put Marcus in position. 
Okay, that's that's through poison yet again. So that's a little annoying. All right. So the answer to that riddle is Marcus is just going to stand out here like an idiot. Do we really care about the poison at this point? I don't know. I think we'll be fine. We're not going to get a Valor point for standing next to people. But we can totally farm some of these. Resilience. Okay, cool. We'll let this Sal do its thing. Ferris is gone. Rock's gone. Tony has not gone. Okay. Just leave it like this for now. Stupid poison cloud. I've gotten some great comments about why that dagger sucks, but you work with what you got. Okay, so we have two more moves that we can make. So Matt, Matt's just going to be a bro. We'll defensive stance here. And then we've got everybody emerging like the Foot Clan one at a time. Here's some good old fashioned bravado. So, pig, 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 pig. It's not a good day to be a pig. Alright, so. Ooh, you're going first! That's kind of inconvenient. Okay, let's put Alex down here. We're gonna have to have. We're gonna have to use this. Okay, 27 to 30, that's reliable. Surrounded buff. See, we know how to use game mechanics in this game. All right. So who's next? You're just gonna run. You're probably not a threat. You're definitely not a threat. Okay, so these guys are all spread out. So we can figure out how we wanna do this right now. Um, Matt Parker. It always puts you like, oh man, just barely just a bit of mud. But if we put you right here, all right, so there's 22 damage. Putting that right over here. And we'll defense stance again. Oh, we have to actually end his turn. Okay. Boar! Double boar. Oh, he's coming. Here comes the chonk. Okay, and you're going to hopefully hit another bear trap. Boar trap, as it were. So if we put you right here, you can stab and push back. that trigger the arrow yes it does doesn't quite kill you all right we'll be able to get some of these points back in just a little bit so you're not bleeding you're just having a bad day all right let's put tony up here can tony does tony have eyes for a kill uh, tony could run through poison again apparently Really game. Let's move Marcus first then. Okay, if we throw Marcus right here, we still can't get a hit. Interesting. Okay. Now we work the corners. Okay, here comes even more pickles. Or should be able to come right over here and say, Would you like to get stabbed today? Yes, please. Alright. And then 
Spear wall is just too good. Getting poisoned is apparently just too good. So you're here, you're here, you're here. We have three more actions. So it's you. Let's not run through the poison. Hey, okay, and a kill! Good job, Lothar! Run you up here. Tony's just having a having a grand old time. We're gonna hide behind these ferns. And we're gonna try to just push. And stab. Oh, Akra is now a giant! Oh, you're getting all the traits. Okay, so that does cancel the uh, little stabby thing, but it's fine. So Lothar, Lothar of the let's avoid the damage poison here. Can we do this? Yeah, I think, I think that's fine. So we're just gonna engage in a new area and see if everybody goes bloop to the left. Oh, you didn't. And unfortunately, we are a little engaged. Marcus is fine. Nerum, can you run through the poison? I mean, that's the thing, is that he made the mess. Why can't he run through it? But this is fine. We want to put Nerum in position to get another double hit. And uh, be poisoned, apparently. Boar, boar, boar. All right. So this old boar, he play one. Actually can't reach anyone, so ignore that. This old boar, he play two, he played knick-knack on my shoe. So this is probably the move. We go up here. Play uh, just a little game of stabby stab. And we go like this. Alright, so Dominant So is gonna dominate the field. Guess question here is did somebody call for a main tank? Like you guys. We just need to like split y'all out one at a time. Like, I know Tony can knock you back. I'm not super interested in having him, like, take debuffs and stuff. You can't run, unfortunately. So we've got to figure out how we're getting out of this situation. Okay. This does force me to hit Akra. I don't think that's worth it. Now, Nirm can go right here and potentially spend a win. Could put Rock Forehead up here too. I think that's fine. Just put him up here. And unfortunately, we didn't actually relocate him. So I guess we do Spear Wall again. And that should take care of that guy. That boar literally just stood there. Cool, I guess. I love our main tank character just standing in the background. Not actually tanking anything. That shows the level of efficiency that we've built up here. So Lothar's fine. Let's go ahead and run Alex up. Everybody's doing so good in their assigned role. Pew pew. Oh, you didn't go. Oh, look at that. Skillfully just weaving through like a jerk. Okay, well, that's exciting, I guess. Can we kill you? This probably does mark you for death, so. Alright, that's cool. Then we can run you from behind. 
And circle, circle, dot, dot. Um, you're going next. We need to kill you before you kill Marcus. I can't capture you, can I? No, because we've already done a main action. Here we go, and Fury Town. We're still not engaged. Okay, well, let's... Can we back it up just a little bit? All right. Still poisoned. Then magically, Theranol can run all the way over here and be like, by the way, y'all, I'm a tank. Did you even know? That's a death. And there's a galvanization. So we have killed enough level 5 pigs to be like, we're, we're working together as a team. Okay, I don't, I don't like how the movement says we can go here. And clearly it's not letting us, so we're going to go up here. Even though it's not as efficient, even though we can't hit anything. It's fine. I don't want to get too fancy with how far these guys can run. So let's keep you all together like this. Yeah, that works. Barely. And Nerum takes it. So we've got to, um, we got to save Nerum here. Okay, so right now he's engaged. That boar is going to do things. Okay, we don't have a great shot here, but we will here. So this is worth a point. Except we didn't actually move him, so damn it. All right. That's that's really a lot of damage. Okay, you know what we're gonna do near him? We're just gonna spend and get two valid points right now. So many kills. Please don't die. I mean, he's already poisoned. Somebody has a med kit somewhere, but we're gonna end this fight. Pretty soon. Technically, she has a med kit. Can't you galvanize all the troops down here? Okay, so we've we've got to do it like this. And no more spear wall. Alright. See how that goes. It's probably not gonna work out, but we'll try. a med kit that's fine at least somebody's not taking ticking poison damage who's next this this old pig oh that's some pig so that's near him who I've mistaken for a boar because he's so close to dying look at all this poison we have to run through that's terrible why can't rock forehead go anywhere probably because we have accidentally started Lothar's turn I hate how this happens. I was just checking to see what his movement was capable of. Okay. Fortunately, animal intelligence board today. Uh, Marcus. And this sow hasn't moved yet, so we don't really want her to... We don't want to go until she goes. So Rock Forehead can just run through the poison up here. Not run through the poison. Not run through the poison. Let's send Matt first. So at least we can get a unity bonus. This is how we farm our points here. Ferris into the mud. Still not Marcus. Alex. Like our team's doing good work. It's just doing a lot of work from across the map. And then you're furious and running after Rock Forehead. What a good move for me. Okay. 
And then... You get points for engaging. Oh, you po you poisoned yourself again, you dumb... You dumb dumb. Alright, well, there's another Valor point. And four more damage. Okay, so anywhere you run, apparently, except for right there, magically, is poisonous. I don't understand how this works either. But we're gonna see if, um... Yeah, Rock Forehead and stuff should be able to take this out, because we'll do some movement manipulation in just a minute. So the so is by far the bigger issue. So we can get down here. Stab it up there. I don't know if it's necessary to do a spear wall. I'm pretty sure we can do enough damage. So let's get um, Akra over here. Not poisoned. Missed out on some sweet, sweet um, Valor points. No, I didn't. All right, there and all, you're fine. Rock Forehead, you're already gone. Matt, we're taking credit for all of this. Parker running in here, getting the kill. 37 crits. We have literally one pig left. Ruthless! Increases morale by one. Nice. Okay. Marcus is already gone. Maybe Matt Parker's turn. So no, Marcus hasn't gone. Let's give him the kill. Yay! You swung that sword so fast you blurred the screen around it. All right. Nirm has become a duelist. We've got a lot of updates for stuff. We'll have to figure out what that means. Looks like we actually have one injury as well. How much material do we have for repairing? 24, so we're okay. We have plenty of medicine. Got plenty of fangs, some leathers, carcasses. Not as much pork as I was hoping for. All right. So we definitely need to camp. First off, Nerum. Duelist means one-handed weapon is equipped. Well, one-handed weapon is equipped. Marcus, level four fighter. Definitely strength. Don't even have to think twice about that. And level five, you'll get some other stuff. Look at all these other theoretical levels. We gotta fight some harder stuff to get there. This is not the episode I expected. Although from looking at this, maybe that rock outcropping is what I'm looking for. But um, yeah, I don't know. All right. So we'll poke our head into the bandit's lair in a second, but we definitely, definitely need the camp. Oh, there's Joven Taverdank. Oh, that's our apothecary, so he's traveling with us. Do we really want to send him across the world? I think we do. That comes down to it, so. We've got wheat. We've got a camp chest with some good stuff. we got a strategery table. Um, can we put him on, can we put him to work around the fire? Because that's fine. I wouldn't mind building another tent. That is a hoodlum. Guess we can put you on the stocks. Like, when did I capture you? Apparently I did a while ago. So we have Tarek and uh, Venren. So the lectern's still doing its thing, the workshop's still doing its thing, the cooking pot is still doing its thing. Let's uh, get our companion cook in here. We've got wheat, we've got pork, we've got carp. We can't build any of this yet. Although if we get some beans, we can do that, so that's nice. Um, let's cook the fish. And then... Let's cook the bread. And I'm really going to hope the meat drying rack doesn't require salt. Because... First question is, do we have the materials to build the meat drying rack? We have saddlebags. We need more rope. Okay, so that was the... That was the thing before. So we'll figure that out later. Okay, so we have illegal wheat. Illegal wood. 
Strange tubers. How, how strange. So good old pork. We don't need the grease yet. But we have a ton of it, so I really need to figure out some apothecary garbage to make that work. Let's sort by type. So we have more currency today. That's good. This is a lot of armor and weapons. But we are not over encumbered, I think, right? We're at 232.8 of 233. We are close to encumbered. Uh, we have 31 carcasses, though. That's a lot of weight. So we really need to get some rope to uh, make this work. All right. Um... You're fine, you're fine, you're fine. We have nothing to do there yet, so I guess we just pay and eat. Suddenly our troop's much happier. Pork stew is fine. I'm not gonna feed carcasses to my people after they complained about like vomiting and stuff. Okay, that's fine. Grilled pork, grilled carp. We have bread. And we rest. So that's one of the things with losing some of these temporary contracts. Oh my god, we already owe wages again. That's right, because I stayed at an end before and skipped the payday here. So we are going to have to figure out money for the first time in a little while. How, we're, how we are going to make money. I like money. I want more money. Let's... Oh, we got a, a talk here with Niram. Let's talk. I bet those poor saps have yet to realize I've robbed them of their belongings. By Saint Septimus, I was born for this. So... Wanted minus 50. Convince yourself that stealing isn't that reprehensible. Brag. Suggested by Marcus or Celebrate. Let's, let's do brag. We need the influence. Alright. So, it's... Thievery is okay when it's our thievery, right? Okay, although there was a camp further down the beach. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is not what I'm looking for. All right, well, let's see what's over here. We got a fishing spot. We've got a um, two fishing spots. Bandit's Lair. Lair's teeming with enemies. To reduce the number of enemies in the lair, look for groups with skull in the region. We'll then to find the lair assault easier. That, that's a lot of people. All right, so I see what they're talking about here. All right, let's let's do the fish. All right, is it a carp or is it an eel? One way to find out: carp or eel. Carp or eel. Carp eel. We all love raw eel. It's a carp. Actually, gonna run out of fish hooks. All right. Carp, carp, and like we have five days worth of food, we're okay. I guess we're just doing this for fun at this point, so yeah, that's not what we're looking for. So there's like a whole bunch of other stuff over here. We do have a contract over here that we can actually get to and try to do that. I don't know if we have time to do that for throughout the whole video, but that's fine. I'm going to keep that fishing spot there. There's more mushrooms that we found. We are still not entirely over encumbered. So that's good to know. That's more pigs. That's anger wolves. I'm going to try to dodge them for now. Just because I want to see what children of the beast camp. When you're sent by the Inquisition, know that we will fight to the death. You won't take us to those fanatics and burn alive. So we have we have enough um, influence now to do this option. Is that so? You aren't here to arrest and burn the stake? Well then, I suppose you can come in. So let's enter the camp. All right. So we have Joke from State Farm. I had to. I'm sorry. Um, if... Uh, Irfea, we can inspect and get a trap. Not really worth stealing. We have wood that we can cut. Do y'all have some rope I can take? Chop. 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 This wood's heavy too. 
So see, we're we're overburdened now. Okay. So we can look in here. You don't touch that; it's ours. So we can attack threatened for a precious tapestry. I'm gonna leave. Fascinating. I'm sure there's. I'm gonna leave that to know that there's probably something for it later. Let's talk. Apologies, we made you feel unwelcome. We're just narrowly escaped the Inquisition. We're on edge. Sir, welcome to the Children of the Beast Camp. Please share a meal with us. We rarely have visitors. Okay, so Arefa. Could I spend some more time? I wish we could spend more time in Gosenberg. We always eat our fill here. So, good stuff, good stuff. Money's a little bit of an issue. I guess technically if we're over encumbered, we can camp and sell some, sell some shit. Like... This isn't worth too much. Level 4 Hunter's Bow we don't really need. Um, we could sell the carcasses for zero, but I really feel like once we get the drying rack, we'll be in business with that. Yeah, I think we're going to need to um, do a bounty to make this work. So iron ore, leather, that's all good. Okay, yeah, let's make our, let's, uh, can, will we get in trouble if we pick your lock? Okay, I had it the first time. I did not have it the first time. Okay. Really didn't have it. <sighs> Touchy. One, two, and... How do you destroy lockpick so fast? Didn't you didn't you play Elder Scrolls Oblivion and make all your money lockpicking the shops at the very beginning of the game? Man, Oblivion. Now that's a game that's aged. So brandy, mushrooms, and milk. Sure, why not? Is it really spoiled milk all the time? So that tapestry looks like the prize here. So we'll um we'll figure out if we need a tapestry and we will come back for it later. First thing we're going to do, though, is look at our equipment one more time and uh, see if there's anything we can sell. Farmer's regs can definitely sell that. Regular regs can definitely sell that. Padded armor can definitely sell those. Definitely sell you. So any of the level 2 armors, maybe we sold a little too much, but it's fine. Felling axe. We sold the one hunter's bow. We don't need that. We have another throwing axe. So we'll keep the targe, the outlaw's hauberk. Keep this. The collar of solitude that you can't put on people. Jerks. Alright, so we have all this gear. So one more time. I guess... Um, Yeah, let's keep the Outlaw's Tunic and let's keep one of these. That way we can just do a little bit of stuff with weight. Alright. I wonder if they'll let us um, sell illegal goods. Maybe. Alright. So what else can we sell? All the things, right. Okay, good job. Arm yourselves with good gear. And that gives us a little more money. That gives us some breathing room. We have plenty of food. We just need rope. So there's wolves here. We have a little bit of suspicion, but not enough to warrant anything in particular. There's some more wood. So... We're back on this trail. This doesn't look like the area. This was kind of a dead end, so I'm guessing getting to this area we have to go through here, which means we have this place and this place. I'd love to turn in some bounties, if nothing else. Um, I guess we'll check the town to see if... Oh yeah, there's our, there's our merchant road. I just messed that up. Okay, so now we have to go into town because I was hoping to run into some of those merchants to see if they were selling rope. 
For some reason, we can't actually enter town. So I guess we're gonna do this. Okay. Merchant, talk to me. That's not rope. That's eel, chicken, and mutton and cabbage. Merchant, get back here. And that's a nice sword. We are not going to buy that, but that's, it's nice to know that it's there. And like I said before, I don't expect to be able to buy anything here. All right, so let's look one more time here. The town hall. Okay, I need to do this more. I need to, I forgot that you can press alt here. So there's a lock pick with some goods here. We talk to you. I don't understand why the city's losing money. I double check everything. Of course, the giant clients. Wait, what can I do? There's a smell, so we need to figure that out. Let's use the lock pick here. You are a companion thief. You're supposed to be able to do this. Like I said there's no harm in picking the locks, right? They're not gonna. They're not gonna go after us for that. Okay. Apparently, apparently I am no good at this. One. I don't know if this is random or fixed or if there's like a War Tales speed run where you just use your lock picks because you know the orientation of this every time. Okay, so what do we got? Lord Mayoris's document show an important location for the Lady Mayoris here. So if we steal that's a lot of suspicion we got some other business in town first like let's go to the forge pretty sure the forge um yeah if we're gonna be going out for a little bit we need to buy a little bit of that so we can leave there i don't think we actually need to make anything yeah, we're going to have to, um, ooh, we can start building some of this stuff. That's right. Okay. Yeah. Um, stuff to modify our armor. That doesn't seem bad as long as it doesn't take rope and it doesn't. So let's build two of these. Wow. I messed that up. All right. Um, let's build another one. I can, right? Okay, that takes a lot of leather and iron ore, so let's check and make sure that we're not going to accidentally undo all of our uh, leather that we had for the drying rack. Wood, cloth, and rope. Apparently... A meat drying rack doesn't take leather at all. Who knew? Somebody knew. Let's not mess this up this time. As I mentioned in another video, I think these headphones are failing. I have practically no sound, so I'm not getting the audio cues either. And apparently that makes life a little bit more difficult here. So I guess one of my questions is, do I want to put these armor packs on like the heavy armor I think it would be have a little more effect if I put it on like this medium armor stuff. Why is okay, so that's level two. Level three. Level two. Like who's getting in trouble here? You de you almost definitely need one. Because you're in melee range. Add Add a layer to armor. Can I not do that? I guess we can't do it in the forge screen, perhaps. Well, check near him here. Let's check there and all here. Okay, so we can add it to armor. Apparently, this is a jacket, not armor. This is a doublet, not armor. Also a doublet, not armor, so we're gatekeeping what armor is now. 
Marcus is wearing armor. Okay. But apparently level two medium armor is not armor. So that's fascinating. I'm gonna sit on those for a minute. Maybe someone in the comments section can school me on how that works or I'll just look it up, it's fine. We're getting close to the uh, video time anyway, but I think first and foremost, I at least want to cross the bridge. Um, let's go over here. We have Juiced. We have the Emissary that has a mission for us. Um, the old Kroner lackeys are wanted for all kinds of stuff here. Yeah, see, so we lost some of these time-limited missions. Everything is difficult now. You're a special emissary. Um, we're not trying to get more people. Okay, so three steps market. None of y'all sell rope, right? Why would you? We can get hair pusher. No, it literally is made with urine. And then you don't sell rope. Okay, so you want a sample of something. I need to double check and see what that is. But Alright. So I think what that means is that we're just going to go north. And we're going to have to pay our people and then we're going to have to make some money. It's the same merchants. Then here's the town guards. See, good thing I wasn't like, let's let's steal from the mayoress or whoever that is and then run directly into these guards because I have a feeling these guards are really bad news. All right. We can always do that later. So there's a little house in the prairie over here. We can inspect over here. Craftsman makes offerings. We don't steal the offerings. We have more vineyards with more crap. Like, these vineyards don't look good. I actually live in a place in the United States that has a lot of vineyards, but it's not California like you might think. So I'm, I'm used to seeing what grapes growing should look like. It's easy enough for Broker Al Merim to say we should be patient. He's not the one who's about to lose it all. I won't stand idly while my crops wither away. Those responsible must be punished. By the all-seeing eye, we'll fight back. Grab your pitchforks. Do the abbey. We'll knock the doors down. First thing you need to deal with the companions. Those bastard mercenaries are guarding the abbey day and night. We should hire our own to dispatch them. If we all pitch in, we'll have enough to employ the best. I hear you're looking for a mercenary. Let's talk shop. Good, at least you know what you're getting yourself into. Fight the Companions is not for the faint of heart. So we get 200 money, and we get this stuff here. I don't know where the Abbey is, but I do like 200 monies. I'll have to build some more lockpicks in a second. Lucky. Still lucky. Oh, that was it. All right. Zero XP, so apparently you're done stealing. Apparently, this ain't y'all's place either, so I can just take all this stuff. Okay. Any other clickables? Just people. All right, so did you hear everything? Good. Okay, so that's you. Still you. Okay, we're going to duck out of here for a second and just call this an episode of War Tales. We have crossed the bridge... We need money from you, and we need money from you, and then we'll need to turn it back in before payday. So we're still we're still on the lookout for um, wherever the map piece is. It all got rearranged. We're still on the lookout for where this is. So I guess when we find it, we'll see what the what Joran wants to do with it. But that's it for now. This is War Tales, where timed missions just don't happen unless I take them and do them in the same setting it's just early access things but otherwise i'm having fun i hope you are too thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it we're probably going to be murdering less pigs and more people next time but yeah that's it for now you all have a good one leave your thoughts in the comments and we'll see how long it takes for this milk to spoil take care